later guys eric here from highway 49 rc it is a gorgeous day out i mean just look at this the sun's just coming up there were some geese on the water over there the sound of the rapids down that way it is absolutely a gorgeous morning out and of course can't go wrong the caramel cinnamon roll and an rc truck <laughs> the lady who makes these is literally like a 70 year old european woman and like all of her food is good like it's all fantastic but we're out here at the river gonna do some crawling today i'm looking forward to it i'm gonna keep enjoying the sun a little while longer maybe take a look at the truck and then uh we'll get to work all right so today we actually get to test out this new 3d printed carbon fiber chassis that i made and this is actually the second one because i launched off a six foot high platform at the hobby shop the other night and this whole bottom section kind of shattered so what i did I added some metal strips there there and behind this between those two screws so hopefully that should strengthen it up just a little bit and then I also got some wider wheel hexes so that these guys don't rub anymore because I was noticing an excessive amount of torque twist uh, when I was driving and especially going uphill and I figured that the extra drag from the wheels rubbing probably wasn't helping that so I got some wider hexes and they seem to work good all right one more thing before we get started I love shooting on location. I love going to crawl spots. I love going to events and I plan to go to a lot of events this year actually. I'm planning on going to the Autism Zone Awareness Crawl, planning on going to Crawl for a Cure, considering Proline by the Fire, considering Axial Fest. So you guys might see me at those events, but of course now that I'm driving, I got my license recently. Yep, so it's pretty exciting. I'm here on my own, which is great because I kind of enjoy being alone when I'm filming. And so that obviously means that I now have to pay parking fees, I now have to pay gas, you know, the usual stuff. So if you guys want to help support me and uh, help get me to more locations to crawl at and make more awesome videos, head over to my Patreon, consider donating a little bit. I would love that. I would so appreciate that if you could do that. Enough of my shameless self-promotion, let's get on with the video. Well, this has been kind of a waste of my time. I was just doing a little pre-running with this thing like I always do, just to kind of get a feel for the rig, feel for the terrain a little bit before I film. And uh, yeah, there you go. I guess this whole 3D printed chassis idea thing has not been a great one. Like literally all that happened was it did like a front flip off this ledge and it's, this is a hand, it's not that high. Like it just kind of came down and that's all that happened like actually <sighs> really like come on i don't know i guess i'm gonna hike around for a bit and at least make my trip out here worth it because like man yeah i guess we're not using 3d printed chassis anymore for this thing uh they they don't work <laughs> I mean, they, they do, they're just way too delicate and fragile. They, they're, it's lightweight, which is great, but it just, they come apart too easy. So I guess we're gonna go back to the old chassis or maybe we'll mill out a new one because the, the 3D CAD um, design that I have could technically put in the milling machine if I made a tool path for it. So maybe what we'll do is we'll mill one out of aluminum. Hmm. Stay tuned, I might do that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Go head over to my Patreon and uh, see you guys in the next one.